are a couple people who have an influence on my life. I don't know what you call those kind of people who influence others, but uh, there are a couple people on social media that, uh, or who, I appreciate their messages. Uh, one of them is Tony Robbins. I was actually fortunate enough to go with my wife to his uh, business mastery a week-long seminar a few years ago. And then the other person is uh, Alex Hermosi, a YouTube personality, businessman. Uh, yeah, I guess there, there are more. They're Tom Bilyeu. I really enjoy his stuff. And something about that trio of people who influence me, they really need to come up with a word for that, is that these people are excited about life and they are motivated and they wake up and they get crap done. And I am so envious, so jealous of this get it done And I, I've written in the policy manual for our business, our policy and procedure manual, I have written this gadiwi, get it done, do it with excellence. And that's kind of the, the over, this is the umbrella thing that we always think about is when there's a question, just get it done, do it with excellence. And I don't always do that in my own life. And so I'm going to chat about that a bit today. And the purpose of this little piece of uh, brain droppings that I'm offering today is just kind of wondering if if I am abnormal in having these thoughts. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that it will help you if you also have them, whether you tell me or not. Of course, I'd love it if you did. I'm I'm wondering if maybe I'm not the only person who feels this way, who is frustrated with himself. And it's sometimes good, I think, to for human beings to to realize, oh, wait, I'm not the only person who feels jealous or lonely or anxious or angry or whatever. Ah, This is normal. Other other humans have this experience as well. So I'm going to kind of just open up and and chat a bit about that. and, And hopefully it's of some use to you. Here's my here's my challenge. I am a very busy person. I think I am. I, I'm probably not really, but I'm 50 years old. I live on a little ranchette. It's not really a, you know, we, we produce a little bit of hay, but we don't do the work. Our neighbors do it. And it's just so we can claim that we're hay farmers and brag about that. Um, so we live on this little 40 acre plot and it's in the middle of nowhere. And we have a business that's an hour and a half to two hours away, depending on the weather. Uh, That's the drive to get there. And we have a great crew of people who help us and some people in other states that that help us uh, with with aspects of it. And and it's just a a nice little business for us. But we, my wife and I are the people who make all the, the big decisions. Now, we do have a manager up in Montana who... Uh, is is great, and, and she does a lot of things, and, and we have a great crew in, in another state who does most of the things, uh, but there's still a lot to think about and do and to realize, oh, this this piece of instruction that I gave to our, our crew, they didn't, not everybody really listened, and they're not really doing it, so how do I say this for the 18 millionth time? so that everybody will really, truly get it deep in their heads and know this is how we do stuff. And I have these frustrations. And I'm in the process of rewriting this policy and procedure manual. I think the last version I did was 172 pages. Well, nobody actually reads it. So now I'm thinking I need to take it down to uh, 100 or 125 pages. But what do I cut out? Everything is important. But that's just a a monumental task, uh, redoing this whole thing and editing it that way. And yes, I I use ChatGPT to to help. But even when I tell ChatGPT not to leave out any of the any points, just edit them for conciseness, for conciseness, it is still not perfect. They're still leaving out things that are important and, and they're not doing it with my they are not doing it with my personality. Um, so I'm I'm doing most of that myself. Well, then I think, okay, I should I should probably uh, do a, a big long quiz. And right now it's at over 100 questions. And the reason I have to do a quiz is because clearly, over the last 13 seasons, when I put out a, a video saying, "Hey, by the way, this is how we do such and such," uh, friendly reminder, 
well, not everybody watches it, though everybody says they do, but evidence shows that they haven't really watched it or cared about it, and they're not doing it. So I think, well, I don't want to meet with every single person individually to talk about this. I hate having big meetings, but somehow I need to make sure that everybody is actually consuming this information. Well, it sucks, but I think doing a quiz, it sucks for the 80% of people who do understand and who do it correctly, but I don't know who does and who doesn't. I'm not sure who it is that's making all the errors. So I'm, I'm compiling this companion quiz for the policy and procedure manual. And that's a big project that I'm working on this spring. And it's not something that I can farm out to somebody um, and, and have somebody else do. This is, this is my baby, this business, this, the operational side, it, it's gotta be done my way. Um, and so that means I have to do all of that. Well, meanwhile, the shop that we built, uh, winter before, uh, last, uh, it's very disorganized. Uh, and I, you can see I'm kind of doing that, taking myself out of the blame, um, uh, mistakes have been made in terms of certain people being hoarders and having all kinds of crap all over, and I can't walk around in it. I, I've got a thousand square feet of awesome shop space, and yet I can't walk around in it because I've got junk piled all over. You know, I might need that someday. I'm going to make something out of it. And I'm an absolute hoarder, and it's horrible. Um, and I'm a pro procrastinator, and so I don't get stuff done. If I took an hour a day and cleaned a section within two months, the place would look great. Uh, but I don't do that. Uh, it's shame on me. And so I've got the, the shop that needs to be cleaned. Well, it's it's snowing heavily. Yesterday, uh, I was out of town working. My wife was out plowing the, the driveway and the snow catchers. You know, she said it was about 30 mile an hour winds uh, and snowing heavily. And, and so when I get back home later today, I'm waiting for the roads to get softened up a little bit. Uh, when I get back home today. I'm going to have some more plowing to do. That'll be a priority. Uh, and, and there are other things that keep me busy. You know, I, I have the YouTube channel that I want to treat with some respect and, and to put some effort into and, and kind of build if I can. Um, so that, that certainly takes time. Uh, if I do a, a six minute video. It's probably been an hour behind the scenes doing the editing and preparation and uploading and filing and all that stuff. So that's got to fit in somewhere. I've got a stack of I don't know, over a dozen books that I want to read uh, in written form. And, and I have more than that on Audible that I, I want to get to reading. I would like to catch up on a lot of educational type videos from the three people I mentioned at the beginning and from a lot of other people that I think would be good for my brain. There are so many things that I want to do that I need to do, and I don't get them done. And yet at the end of the day, when I say, well, you know what? I probably didn't get them done because there were other things that were more important that I had to focus on. And I say, well, why don't I make a list of all of the excellent things that I've accomplished since I woke up at 4.30 and start hanging out with my wife being brain dead, uh, mostly brain dead, but, you know, probably watching Tom Bill U or something like that as our entertainment. So, yeah, it's educational, but I don't really consider that as much. So let's say it was 12 hours I put in most days, um, you know, not including showering and eating and all that kind of stuff. So what have I accomplished in my 12 hours that's of real true value, that's moving me ahead toward my goals. And as I start to write stuff down, I am almost always very disappointed in myself. Um, I have gotten distracted. I have not really truly at the end of the day accomplished something. And we all have our thing. Maybe for me, it's, it's having uh, YouTube steal my attention. That's me not taking personal responsibility. Maybe YouTube has suggested that I watch the, well, it's only a six minute video. So I'll watch that. And they, oh, now they're suggesting I watch this. So that's interesting. Oh, now they have this, this bushcraft gal who has this cool new trick and her, her pokies are visible. And so therefore, uh, oh, it's a short, well, it's only a little bit. Uh, speaking of which that video that I'm mentioning had the best comment ever, uh, gentlemen, we meet again. 
This video has millions and millions and millions of views. She doesn't say a word. She's not all that attractive, but she is a psychologist or got lucky or something. And she knows what 18 or 23 million men will click on. Um, I just love it. Gentlemen, we meet again. That was the comment on there. Um, anyway, so there's that. And then there's this video. Oh, well, you know, Tom Bill, you just has a short five minute thing. This is motivational. This will get me going. And I watch that. And then, I, and then I do this and I, well, my friend, you know, I'm helping him decide which videos are best for his channel. And I, I should, you know, I've, made this commitment. I do what I say. I'm going to follow through and watch this 45 minute video and, and find the highlights or whatever. And, and then all of a sudden I've been doing all these little things. Oh, and then I go out and plow for a few hours and, oh, I need to build this thing. And so I weld it up or I do the woodworking on it. And, and then all of a sudden the day is gone and, and my 12 hours have not really accomplished true 12 hours worth of stuff. And that's disappointing. And even when I look at myself and I say, maybe I got four good hours worth of stuff done in the last 12 hours. And I guess snow plowing, I'm efficient with that. But taking that out because the next day the wind will blow it all back and I, I, it's needed to be done. I'm going back and forth on myself here. I guess that's just something that needs to be done and I can't. It's pr productive because the goal is to keep it in control. So that's being productive. So maybe six or eight hours a day average that I'm productive, but what am I doing those other four hours? And it, I, truth is I'm wasting time. I am doing something that doesn't need to be done. That isn't moving me toward my goal. And then I have the guts to judge other people. Well, first of all, I look at myself and I say, okay, of, of, if I'm comparing myself to other people, how squared away am I? And when I say squared away, I mean, I don't, uh, Overpromise things. I, if I say I'm going to do something, I do that. Do that thing. Um, if I say I'm going to be somewhere on time, for example, I am there on time, and that always happens. And if I make a commitment for next year, by golly, come hell or high water, I'm going to make that happen. And I, the benefit has been that I'm respected for that. Like people know that when I say something, it's going to happen, and I. When I do make a mistake and I overpromise something, I learn from it and say, okay, I made the mistake of saying that I'm going to grow my YouTube channel at a reasonable rate. Well, <laughs> evidently I'm not. So, okay, now I know not to make promises uh, based on my shortcomings, like charisma or whatever. Um, wh where am I going with this? W where am I going with this? Me being squared away compared to other people. Well, I got to say that in my direct one line of, or what, what's it called? Degrees of separation, one degree of separation. I don't think I know anybody who is much more squared away than I am. Now, in some areas people are, you know, I, I might look at, at one person, my neighbor, for example, who, who is incredibly squared away in a lot of areas but he doesn't even have a web page. I don't know that he has an email address. He doesn't really know how to work a computer. And he's not even 40 years old yet. He's just really busy doing other productive things. Um, so I, he's way more squared away than I am in certain areas. But in general, overall stuff, I don't know. Maybe comparable. Maybe he's a little bit ahead. Maybe he's a little bit behind. Um, and then I look at, well, who are some successful business people who I know? And, and I'm thinking of some people who, you know, are, well, of course, it's not that hard to be a millionaire these days, but who are, are multimillionaires or DECA millionaires. And I, I don't know really how squared away they are. I'm thinking of one guy who is. Yeah, he's 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 done well for himself and he does work really hard. Um yeah, he's probably more squared away than me. So yeah, maybe and I, there are probably five or ten people who I know and who would see me and say, hey, Shepard, um, who are more squared away than me. But I know thousands of people. And I, I don't think I'm very good. And if I'm toward the top of the pile, my gosh, everybody else, I really wish everybody else would step up with the amount of focus, focused dedication to 
accomplishing things. Uh, I, I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I'm not the dumbest. I, I know I'm up there in the top probably 10 or 20 percent of people, but I'm not a rocket surgeon. I, I'm not the sharpest french fry in the toolbox or anything. I, I shouldn't be, and I'm not the smartest guy around, and I'm not all that physically able, and yet I, I would be able to help you move a couch out of your house, and I can probably get a basic computer thing figured out for you. <clears throat> and I don't think I'm that good, and yet I'm toward the top of the pile, and that's a real problem. That's a real problem. Uh, if I was more disciplined, I think discipline is the thing that I'm, I'm lacking most in my life. If I was disciplined enough to spend two minutes every single morning doing some sort of physical exercise to make my body feel better, stretching, just doing the downward dog for a minute and then doing some squats down to the couch and back up, doing 15 of those. Oh my gosh, I would feel so much better. But I'm not even disciplined enough to do a two-minute workout each morning. Um, if I was disciplined enough to drink six or eight glasses of water a day, oh my gosh, I would feel so much better. I wouldn't get cramps. That'd be awesome. Um, if I was dedicated to spending two minutes learning a foreign language each, each day, I'd be way further along than I currently am. And that would be moe bueno. If I was dedicated to a lot of things or just disciplined, I would be so much further ahead. And then my friends will say, oh, yeah, I got, uh, sorry, I didn't get that done, but I got carried away skiing or playing video games or oh, something that isn't really productive. Like, it's hard to even argue that it is productive. Like, maybe I can argue that I listened to a, a Tom Bilyeu and Robert Breedlove interview and gained a new appreciation and understanding of a, a mainstream view combined with a, a more anarcho-capitalist Bitcoin attitude. And seeing those two people interact has made me smarter and better and better able to handle the world. Yeah, maybe I could argue that. But there is no justification for me watching another stupid video of just something that's fun and, and just no redeeming value in it but I'm not disciplined enough to say no to that. I haven't been to date. It's interesting that I suck in those areas. I have correctly identified where I suck. I would be so good. I'm a, I'm a, I do some coaching for other folks, like some performance coaching, life coaching. I'm a mentor. I'm a business mentor. I'm a life mentor for, for a number of people. Oh, I know how to fix this stuff. I could just right now say, oh, Here's how you do it. Uh, you, you, you set the alarm, you get up, you, you do this for this amount of time. Or if you have the kind of personality that you don't like that schedule kind of thing, okay, every week you need to accomplish 14 minutes worth of uh, learning a new language. And you can do that at any point. You get to check things off the list, make a game out of it. Well, okay, I, I know how to fix myself. I know how to tell myself how to fix myself. But it's that discipline. It's that reaching deep and saying, no, I'm not going to sit here and, and drink the coffee and uh, watch this stupid, useless sh two or three shorts on YouTube. Instead, I'm going to set the phone down. I'm going to set the coffee down. And I'm going to stretch for two minutes. Being disciplined with that is so, so difficult for me. Do you face that issue as well? Um, I think about all that I can accomplish I look at all that I have the, the capacity, the capability to do that other people aren't doing. Um, and I'm so disappointed in myself for not being more squared away. And uh, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this other than just lamenting my disappointment in myself. And yeah, you might say I'm an A or an A-plus student. And I'm lamenting that I didn't get 100% on the exam and I only got a 98 or a 99%. Uh, but there's no reason that everybody shouldn't... Well, there's some dummies, but there's no reason that a quarter of the people shouldn't be getting 100%. And yet I look out there and some of the best people I know are getting 80 and 90% on this same exam that I'm getting a 98 or 99 almost... No, not effortlessly. I work hard. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Thank you.